Okay, so in this last problem here, we're going to use the properties of logarithms to make calculating the derivative easier. If I just went straight away to do the derivative, let's think about this for a second. I would do one, I would have to do the chain rule, and then within the chain rule, I'd have to do the quotient rule. And it would be a total, total mess to deal with. So as opposed to that, we're going to use the properties of logarithms. And so use the idea of simplifying functions first is a really helpful thing. So if I'm going to rewrite this using my properties of logarithms, I know that ln x plus 1, when I am dividing, it means I subtract ln x minus 2. And I also know that this square root is the same as saying that it is x minus 2 to the 1 half. And then I also know that then this 1 half can actually come down to the front of my logarithm. And so now I have a much simpler derivative to take. And so if I'm going to take the derivative, I'm going to take the derivative of this first part, which is 1 over x plus 1, times the derivative of the inside, which is just 1, minus, well, 1 half times the derivative of ln x is 1 over x minus 2 times the derivative of that is just 1. And so when I put it all together, I get 1 over x plus 1, subtract 1 over 2, x minus 2 is my derivative. This using properties is a helpful trick.